हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन 8085 जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर फर्स्ट वन इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर वर्ल्ड लेंथ ओके आई विल टेल यू द इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर्मेट एंड सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज एड्रेसिंग मोड्स ऑफ एट जीरो एट फाइव माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इन एट जीरो एट फाइव ओके इंस्ट्रक्शन कैन बी ऑफ वन बाइट टू बाइट और थ्री बाइट ओके इन वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन दियर विल बी ओनली ऑफ कोड एंड इट विल कंज्यूम ओनली वन मेमोरी लोकेशन इन टू बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन दियर विल बी टू बाइट फर्स्ट बाइट विल बी ऑफ कोड एंड नेक्स्ट बाइट विल बी एट बिट डेटा और एट बिट एड्रेस ओके यू नो इनपुट आउटपुट पोर्ट एड्रेस इज ऑफ एट बिट इन थ्री बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन दियर विल बी थ्री बाइट फर्स्ट बाइट विल बी ऑफ कोड देन नेक्स्ट बाइट विल बी लोअर बाइट डेटा या एड्रेस देन हायर बाइट डेटा और एड्रेस नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल इन वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कोड एंड ऑपरेंट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन आर रिप्रेजेंटेड इन वन बाइट ओनली एंड ईच इंस्ट्रक्शन रिक्वायर्स ओनली वन मेमोरी लोकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी मूव ए कॉमा बी ओके एंड इट्स ऑफ कोड इज सेवेंटी एट This move is op code A and B are operands. These all are in single byte seventy eight zero one 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 zero zero. And how to determine op code of any instruction? Okay, how to determine op code? For example, this is the op code of move. Okay, this is format zero one. This is the op code of move, and this is destination register, and this is source register. In move A comma B. Op code is zero one. What is destination register? It is A. What is the op code of A? It is one one one. So here one one one. D D D means one one one. And S S S means source register. What is B? Source register. It is B. And what is the op code of B? This is zero 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 zero. So I am writing here zero zero zero. So zero one 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 is nothing. Seven one zero zero eight eight. okay in this way you can determine op code of move instruction and it is only one byte so it will consume only one byte next add b okay its syntax is this 1000 and this b value of source register its code is 000 so it is 80h means Again, it is of one byte, okay, and it will take only one byte, and it will take only one memory location. So, op code is add, and operand is B. So, you can see if there are operands, and operands are registers or register, and if there is implied addressing mode. Later on, you will see it will be of only one byte instruction. Okay. Now two byte instruction. In two byte instruction, in which, okay, there are two bytes. First byte will be always op code, and next byte will be either eight bit data or address. Okay. Two byte instruction is the type of instruction in which the first eight bit indicates the op code, and the next eight bit indicates the operand, and in it either it be data or address is present as an operand you can see from here this is present 32 so it is two byte instruction first byte for op code or move next byte for 32 it required two memory locations okay mbi a 32 means a equal to 32 first byte for op code or mbi then second byte will be 32 ADI 45. Again, you can see. Just you see as a source operand. If source operand is it be data or address, it will be of two byte. Similarly, SBI 72. Again, it will be of two byte. Next three byte instruction. In three byte instruction, first byte will be op code. Next two byte will be operands. Okay. In this, either 16 bit data or address is present as an operand. it required three memory locations you can see from just you have to check okay 2050 it is 16 bit address so it is of three byte first byte 
for off code next byte for 50 next byte for 20 because you know in one address only one byte can be stored so suppose i am taking 2000 memory location for this instance in 2000 there will be off code of lda in 2001 there will be 50 in 2002 there will be 20 jump 3050 alexa ib 3040 it means bc equal to 3040 jump 3050 means pc equal to 3050 so you can see from here okay in three byte instruction there will be either 16 bit data or 16 bit address present as an operand you will directly see as an operand okay this is all about your one byte instruction two byte instruction and three byte instruction now the very important topic okay addressing modes of 8085 okay what do you mean by addressing modes of an 8085 addressing modes means nothing the data to be operated by an instruction is called addressing modes okay the way of specifying data to be operated by an instruction is called addressing mode means the data which you are operating means which you are processing where it is available means it is available inside a memory location in direct memory location or in indirect memory location or that is immediate data or it is available inside registers okay uh, in this way you can divide five addressing modes very first one is immediate addressing mode then register addressing mode direct addressing mode register indirect addressing mode implied or implicit addressing mode now come into immediate addressing mode you are already aware is last letter is i okay then it will be immediate addressing mode in immediate addressing mode okay source operand will be source operand will be either 8 bit data or 16 bit data okay in immediate addressing mode the source operand is always data if the data is 8 bit then the instruction will be 2 byte if the data is of 16 bit then the instruction will be of 3 bytes just you have seen in 2 byte or 3 byte instruction just check here in last letter is i so it is 75 it is immediate addressing mode i 3050 ani 56 what it will do it will perform and operation of contents of a and 56 and it, it will store the result in a adi 45 it will perform addition of a with 45 and it will store the result in a sbi 76 it will subtract 76 from a and it will store the result in a so you can see in immediate addressing mode source operand will be always either 8 bit or 16 bit data okay i means immediate data next coming to register addressing mode in re register addressing mode the data operated is available inside registers and registers are specified in the instruction as an operands from here you can see okay move a comma b it transferring the contents of b into a it is again register it is again register so there is register addressing mode data is available inside register b and it is transferring into register a okay add c again a equal to a plus c data is available inside a and c and again it is storing the result in a so that's why there is register addressing mode. i nr b b equal to b plus 1 data is source is register b again destination is register b equal to b plus 1 sub d it means a equal to a minus d data is available inside registers and registers are mentioned in the instruction so there is register addressing so you have to remember in case of register addressing mode it will consume only one memory location in a memory or you can say it is one byte instruction because both operands are registers okay next direct addressing mode in direct addressing mode the data to be operated is available inside a memory location and that memory location is directly specified in the operand this LDA 2050 it means load the contents of memory location 2050 into accumulated data is available in 
that memory 2050 and okay and it is transferring into a so this direct memory similarly lhld address lhld to 2050 it means contains of 2050 is coming in l and contains of 2050 is coming in h in 35 again it is direct addressing contains of 35 it is a 8 bit address it transferred into a st3050 contains of a is transferred into 3050 memory location and that memory location is direct memory location and it is specified in the instruction okay next register indirect addressing mode again in register indirect addressing mode data is available inside a memory location but that memory location is indirectly specified by register player very very important that memory location is indirectly specified by register pair for your move a comma m contains of m is transferring into a now what is m m is indirect memory and it is specified by hl register pair similarly ldx b it is transferring contains of a memory location which address is specified by bc register pair to accumulator okay stxd move the contents of a into a memory location whose address is specified by d register pair here we are using memory but that memory is indirect memory and address is available in a register pair so where there is m you can say it is indirect register indirect addressing mode ldx stx d d or b or h and you can analyze from here because a m b d or you can say registers are the internal part of microprocessor so all immediate address all register indirect addressing mode will be of one byte only okay all register indirect addressing modes instruction means or you can say all the instructions which are related to register indirect addressing mode they will be of one byte only because these are the internal part of your microprocessor. Now last one implied or implicit addressing mode. In this operands is hidden and the data to be operated is available in the instruction itself. Okay, in this operands are hidden. If address of source of data as well as address of destination of result is fixed, then there is no need to give any operand along with the instruction. You can see from CMA what it does. It performs once complement of contents of accumulator and again it is stores into A. So there is no need. You know in case of logical instruction, decision operand must be accumulator and for once complement there will be only one operand. So we do not need to mention. Similarly RRC, rotate accumulator A right by one bit. Okay. You will see logical instruction. Da. Decimal adjust accumulator. No operands are written. What it performs? It performs da it adjust number in bcd number system after addition simply it is used in bcd number system and data must be available in accumulator here data must be available in accumulator here again accumulator here again accumulator so what you can do now you can practice you can take any instruction that now you have to determine that instruction in that instruction what is the addressing mode what memory location yeah how many memory location it consumes in memory or it is one byte instruction two byte instruction or three byte instruction it's all about your today lecture thank you so much for watching